What is up beautiful people? It's your girl Cam and I am back with another video. Today I'm coming at you with a planner haul. <sighs> okay, so listen. <laughs> I know some people like hauls and some people don't. And uh, I just gotta tell you that if you don't like hauls, if you never watch another haul video that I post on this channel, you need to watch this one. Okay, just, just for real. You need to watch this one. You need to stick around until I open up this envelope right here. <laughs> this one. Because this right here is a game changer. It's a game changer. All right, but I've got um, a new planner. I've got some new... Yeah, I said a new planner. <laughs> That's what I said. <laughs> because I have to I have to keep trying planners until I find the one that works for me. Okay, I just have to do that. So, um... Some planners have said goodbye this year. Some planners have run their course for me this year. Um, I'm still using my micro notes. I'm still using my Notique. I'm still using my um, print pression weeks, but some other planners have taken a break or they're on vacay or they're in timeout or whatever. <laughs> but I have to keep looking until I find the system that works for me, okay? So I've got a new planner. I've got new inserts for that planner. I've got stickers. I've got washi. I've got sticker books. But this right here, in this box right here, in this package right here, this and the planner to me is like what you need to see. Okay, so if this is your first time visiting my channel, welcome, welcome. My name is Cam. This is Piece of the Plans. We talk about all things planner related. We talk about inspiration. We talk about faith. And today we are talking about planner goodies and a haul. So I hope that you will uh, consider hitting that subscribe button along with the notification bell so you won't miss out on any of the fun right here on this channel. And if you are an OG to Piece of the Plans, girl, welcome back. It's about to be lit over here here it's about to go down so get you some popcorn get you something to snack on and just stay right there and listen if you if you don't have time to watch a long video then come back to me when you are folding your laundry or when you're doing your little girl's hair or something <laughs> because you need to watch this from beginning to end or, or check it out before you go to bed you just laying down chilling but you don't want to miss this video okay so just stay right there i'll be right back Okay, so let's start with the planner. And I have a little backstory while I am unboxing it. Um, this is an Aura Estelle A5 wide. And I don't even know what color this is, y'all. <laughs> I know that sounds crazy. Like, why did you buy a planner and you don't know what color it is? Because I don't know what goes on with Aura Estelle when she does restocks. I don't know if she just orders 10 of them or what, but it's like wrestling bears when you go over there to get a planner from her site during restock days. So I went over there and I grabbed the color that I wanted. I had three choices of colors that I wanted. My top choice was the rose quartz in the gold hardware. My second choice was the cashmere, the black cashmere with the gold or silver. It didn't matter to me on that one. And then my third choice was what I ordered, which was the, um, well, I'll show you when I open it. But um, I put the rose quartz in my, in my uh, cart and I was not fooling around because I knew it was going to be, you know, <laughs> you know, like a bear, a bear match over there, like a wrestling match. So I did not waste any time. I put it in my cart and I went over and I hit pay. And as soon as I hit pay now, it said, sorry, this item is sold out. So I went back and put the rose quartz with the silver hardware in my cart and went to hit pay. I didn't play around. Pay. And it said, I'm sorry, this, uh, unfortunately, this item is sold out. I went back for the black. When I hit the black, as soon as I touched the picture of the black one, it said sold out. I was like, good God almighty. Okay, now. So I finally grabbed my third choice, which is this planner that's in this box, and I was able to grab it in the silver hardware. I would have preferred it in the gold, but I'm going to see how I love it in the, in the silver. Okay, so the reason I don't know what color it is, I have seen several different pictures of this planner, and every time I see a picture, it just looks different. The color looks different. I can't, so I can't really tell what color it is, but we're going to find out. And I hope I love it, because if I don't love the color, we're going to have a problem. <laughs> Okay, so here's the box. It says Aura Estelle, and then the little inside flap says, Make time for what makes your soul shine. 
So super cute packaging. The box is really cute. This is a like a little keepsake box because it's super cute. It's real cute. It's black and it's cute. Or you could send like giveaways and stuff in here. Okay, and it comes in a little cute little dust bag. This is the Aura Estelle um, Cloud. And I think she calls it the cloud because of the little um, flap that closes it. But y'all, I'm a little bit nervous because I'm not sure what color this planner is. It, sometimes on pictures it looks pink. Sometimes it looks golden. Sometimes it looks peach. I just, I can't, I can't tell. So we're going to see if we love it. Let me just get this knot out. It has a cute little dust bag with the RSL logo on it down there. I'm nervous, y'all. I'm nervous. It is peach. It's like a peachy color. So this color is called, oh, it's pretty. This color is called, it's, it's even looking different on my camera. Like, it looks different on camera. But anyway, um, this color is called Sugar Coral. And when I tell you this is pretty, y'all, let me compare it to this pink. It's similar to this pink, but it's got a shimmer to it. So if you have one of these, it's close to this color. It's a little bit darker, and it has a shimmer. But this is like a, I would consider this like a peachy pink. That's what I would consider this. But the name of it is Sugar Coral. And when I tell you it's cute, y'all, it's cute. So I'm happy with this. I'm very, very happy with this. I was going to try to go back and get the rose quartz, but I think I'm happy with this. This is gorgeous. It's really pretty and it's very soft. So this is why it's called the cloud because of this little scallop here on the side. And I did end up getting the silver hardware, which, you know, I'm not, I'm not mad about that. I would have preferred the gold, but it sold out. So the silver is very pretty. Okay, so this is considered an A5 wide which is, um, it mimics the size of an Erin Condren or a Recollections Planner. That is the size of the inserts that go in here. And I'll show you the inserts that I bought in just a second. But okay, one of the things that makes this planner really, really special is the fact that she considers everything. Um, first of all, the stitching looks really, really good. Everything looks very well made. And... Uh, it just looks very, very solid and very nice, and the, and the feel of it is very soft. But she has these two snaps here. So if your planner is um, kind of thin, you can put it on the tighter uh, button here, snap here. And if your planner starts to get thick, then you can put it on this uh, shorter one. Okay, right now it's kind of thick because it has this little molded piece of foam in here. But I'll take that out, and you can see that if your planner was pretty thin, then you could use this first button here to keep it closed. So she thought of everything, right? Really pretty. Okay, so you got the little snaps. Then you've got, um, the first thing I noticed is on the left-hand side, you've got two pin loops. You've got one up at the top, kind of attached to the flat part, and then one uh, at the bottom that's kind of more attached to the secretarial pockets. This color is yummy, y'all. I love it. So you've got two secretarial pockets, and look at that stitching on the inside. That's pretty. And then you've got this piece of, um, like, uh, it's thicker than cardstock, but um, it's a thick piece to keep its shape. And I may actually just cut that down. Oh, no, I don't have to cut it down. I may just cover this with some cute decorative paper and leave this in here so it can keep that firm shape. I like that. Okay, now it does have the rings, like I mentioned. And let me just cut these. Cut this plastic so I can take this off easier. Oops. And then, um, oh, yeah, it also has strings. So, in case you wanted to put an insert in here, like an A5 insert, you could definitely do that and put it on the strings in the back. You've got two strings in the back and you've got two strings in the front. Um, I've also seen people just simply take these rings off, just cut it because it's, it's only um, inserted through these two little holes up here at the top and then also at the bottom. So you could really just cut these strings and just not even use it as um, a traveler's notebook. Or you could keep, I'm going to keep the one in the back and I'll probably attach a little notebook to the back. 
just a place to write down notes that maybe need to go into my planner, but I don't want to put it in the planner yet. Okay, then let's talk about the right side or the left side. Did I call this the left earlier? I hope I didn't. Right side. This is the right side. And then um, on the left side, you've got um, a pocket up here, which I think I might put a picture of my husband and I in here for my anniversary that we had recently. Stick a picture in there. And then you've got one, two, three, four vertical pockets over here. You've got two small ones down at the bottom. And then you've got uh, two regular size ones up at the top. You've got this horizontal pocket that does have the little ID um, section that you could put a picture in or put a quote in there or put a, I've seen someone put a monthly calendar in there, which is also cute. And then you've got two, uh, um, did I call these vertical? Y'all, I'm just messing all up. These are horizontal pockets. I don't know what I'm talking about. These are horizontal pockets. And then these are your verticals. My bad. Okay, and then you've also got another piece of paper stuck here just to help it keep its shape. All right, so let's go through that again. We've got one, two, three, four horizontal pockets. We've got two verticals, and then we've got the little ID section here to help you um, put a cute little picture or a quote or whatever in there. Okay, so I am absolutely, I was so worried that I was not going to love this color, but I absolutely love it. But I will tell you, that the pictures online, and even on this camera right now, I don't think it's pick, picking it up the right tone, but it's like a peachy pink is really what it is. And it's so, so pretty. So it does have the silver hardware, but this is gonna be my new um, catch-all planner. Okay, this is gonna be my catch-all for now. And I'm so excited because I used to really love my Erin Condren. I really did. And I just, you know, I'm not using, I think a lot of people are not dealing with Erin Condren right now. Now, some people are, some people are not, and it's, it's whatever. Everybody has their own choices to make, but I love the style of that planner. And um, I love the little gutters in between the boxes. It just makes your planner look so clean and neat. And so um, I'm excited to get back into a planner setup that's similar to that. Okay, so that's the planner, the Aura Estelle A5 Wide, and this color is Sugar Coral. And that's a perfect title for it because it is so peachy pretty and pink so pretty okay so that's the planner and let's put that back in the well we'll leave it out for now because I have something that goes with it so next so next is the inserts for that planner which are from caress press and these are a5 wide inserts that um, she sells in her shop to go with specifically the Aura Estelle. So this was super, super cute. And she sent this little freebie that has the little gold foil Amazon and Amazon order stickers. And then I ordered the um, tab divider covers because I wanted them to be pink. And I'm, I, I want to check and see if this pink will match or not and if not it's no problem I think these were only like two dollars but I think these are super cute and they're pink with the gold foil to cover the tabs for the monthly um, tab dividers that are in here okay so this is from caress press these are a5 wide and like I said, these inserts mimic the uh, the Erin Condren style. That kind of, I guess, what you would consider a traditional planner size and style. So this is from Caress Press, and it comes with um, this cute little vellum page on the front that has the gold uh, foil bow. Super cute. I don't, I don't know if I'll keep this or not, or maybe I'll put something on top of that. I'm not sure, but it's it's cute not really my style but it's cute I mean I like bows but this particular one just isn't my isn't my zhuzh okay um, then we've got the year to glance and what I did not realize she was gonna do which I mean makes perfectly good sense but I didn't know she was gonna do this she sent me the inserts that start in July and I don't think that I chose that I think that's just what she's selling now so it starts with July and it goes all the way through to June of 2021 so that was really cool so on this uh, year at a glance she's got 2020 
on the front and then 2021 on the back. So I was thinking that I was only going to use this planner for through the end of the year and then see if I wanted to re-up on it. But I, I can go ahead and use this for an entire year. I'm super excited about that. So we've got the um, beautiful script on the front for each month. It's already hole punched. It comes with the white divider tabs with the, with the uh, name of the month on each tab. And then you've got your monthly spread here. And one thing that I do want to do is add some of the little hole covers to just hole reinforcers on here just to make it a little bit more sturdy. This is some good quality paper, but I know with flipping the pages back and forth a lot, those holes can get really worn out. So, you know, I can go get some cheap ones, some white ones from uh, Walmart, or I can grab some cute foil ones. I've seen several shops that have them. So that's just a little tip though. These little holes do get worn out, but I love the layout of the monthly spread. It's got a lot of space to decorate up at the top. You've got the monthly um, name up in the beautiful script on the right. You've got space down the right hand side to plan or decorate as well. And this is a dated planner. She does have the undated version as well, but I chose the dated one because, you know, I'm good with that. I'm good with it being dated. And you can always cover things up if you don't um, use it every week or if you, you know, skip a week or something like that. You can always redate it with uh, date covers. Okay, so this is the monthly spread. And then, like I said, the um, weeklies look very similar to a traditional planner. Um, the Recollections, the Erin Condren. I love this gutter in between the days of the week. I don't know if you can see it, but the Happy Planner does not have that. All the days of the week are smushed together. I love this gutter in between because it makes your days look very nice and separated and clean and fresh to me, in my opinion. Then you've got this um, column down the left-hand side that you can decorate or that you can put your uh, goals for the week. There is a little bit of space up top for washi or decoration. And then there's that same um, large space for washi at the bottom. And then it is each day out separately. The weekend is not stacked. You've got seven days separately across the two pages. That's why they had to turn it into an A5 wide to give you space for that extra day, I think. Okay? So this, um, you get five weeks with this set from Caress Press. You get five weeks for every month. Or is it, or is that the undated that I'm thinking of? Yeah, I think these are just, because they're dated, they just are what they are. Yeah, and then it goes on into the next month. Yeah, so I'm thinking about the undated. The undated, she gave you five weeks, but in this one, it's dated, so you don't need that. All right, so I'm going to probably back plan for um, the month of July, which was my birthday month, and then pick up from there. i got to back plan August, too, because August is almost over. But each um, divider tab is plain, except for the, the name of the month down here in the right-hand corner. And I love that because that gives me room to decorate the dividers as I see fit. And, you know, put a little picture here or something, which I think will be cute. All right, so this is the insert for the A5 wide. And this is from Caress Press. And I'm going to add the pink uh, tab covers on if the color looks good with that sugar coral. And we can go ahead and check that out now. So I'm going to go ahead and put these in the planner. And um, see how everything looks. I'm so excited about this, y'all. I could not wait to get this planner. And it was not even, it was scheduled to come on Wednesday. And then I got a um, notification that things were, you know, delayed. This is coming from Canada, by the way. Aura Estelle is based out of Canada. And so I got a notification that things were delayed because of COVID. And so I didn't even think about it again. It was supposed to come Wednesday. And I didn't even think about it again. I said, like, okay, we'll just get here when it gets here. And when it gets here, I'll show it. But um, today is Friday, and I went to my mailbox just to check and see. I wasn't expecting any happy mail because I wasn't expecting this because they told me there was a delay. But it was in the mailbox, and I was like, oh, happy Friday. Friday. 
because here it is a couple days late but not bad I didn't get a notification it was out for delivery or anything it just kind of showed up okay so super cute um, I've heard people say that this planner is big I mean it is a big planner but it's I mean when I get ready to show it to you on this channel I'm gonna take the pages out to plan and uh, and this planner will probably stay at home. It's not going to be one that I'm going to take with me very often. I mean, I might take it to a meeting if I have a big meeting to go to. I may take it to a meeting, especially if I put a little notebook, a little traveler's notebook, notebook in the back. I may take it to meetings. But um, generally speaking, this will stay at home on my desk. So it's not too big for that. And when I show it here on my channel, I'm not going to have this whole thing out. I'm just going to take the inserts out and um, plan there. So... This is super cute, y'all. So let me know what you think about this sugar coral or Estelle Cloud in the A5 wide. What do you think about it? I'm going to leave the link to her shop down below, too. All right, so that's the first thing, the planner and the insert. So let's move on to, I so love that color. Let's move on to the washi tape. All right, so y'all know that I have a love-hate relationship with Simply Gilded. <laughs> I don't know why I always say that because I really do love her shop. Um, but I went over there to get this, which is a sticker storage book. And when I say this little thing is so buttery soft and this pink is so pretty, it almost perfectly matches this little traveler's notebook that I've had before. Ooh, cute. You know, I love that pink. And um, it has the rose gold little heart on it. And it has a rose gold little clasp right there. And then this is just a sticker book. You can put, um, store your stickers in here. And I could probably fit this in the back of my Aura Estelle some type of way. But I love the, the little extra touches that she puts on her products. For example, there's a little snap closure thing under here. But she covers it up with this pretty little scallop. Isn't that cute? I love that. And then I think I counted 20 pages of these um, sticker insert sheets. And she was also talking about the possibility of turning this into a small scrapbook, which I think would be adorable. This would be an adorable scrapbook. Ooh, I might. I might do that. I might use this as a scrapbook. That would be so cute. If you have a new baby or a new grandbaby or like my son is graduating from high school this year, I could document his senior year in here or just all of our family stuff for this year. This would be so cute and the pages would be small. So you wouldn't be talking about a lot of decoration, just, just cuteness. But it is designed to be a sticker book. So, you know, your sticker sheets just slide into these pockets here. That's what it's designed for. But she did did give some ideas about other ways to use it. So this is the little, the little, I don't even know what this is called. I guess it's just called sticker book. But it's so cute. And I got the the pink with the rose gold hardware. Okay, so that's the first thing from Simply Gilded. And then it came with this cute little um, journaling card with that cute little bow. I will be using this because that's cute. It also came with a little freebie. So cute. And then let's get down to the washi. I just got one little set this time, y'all. Okay, so here is the washi. It is so cute. I think it's called Gray Mist. And it's got um, like gray in the background and then pink flowers with that silver foil pop, pop, popping. And then this one doesn't have, the one on the bottom doesn't have the silver foil. But it's like um, 10 and 15 millimeter sets. So you got two 15 millimeters, one with foil and one without. And then two 15 and then one 10. And I think it's called Gray Mist. Super cute. Perfect for the fall, right? Perfect. Oh, cute. Okay, so that's what I got from Simply Gilded. Not a whole lot this time. I did not go ham. I really went over there just to get that little sticker book. <laughs> then I, of course, went down the rabbit hole, like I always do. But I behaved myself this time. I just got one little set. But she's got some purple coming out. Ooh. I think it came out today. I might have missed it. 
Oh well, I got my eye on other things. All right, so let's see what's next. Let's get into, oh, a surprise, really, that was in my mailbox. I had forgotten that I ordered from her, but this is Capital Chic Designs. I don't even know, I don't even remember what I ordered, y'all. Somebody blessed me with $25 on my cash app one day. <laughs> and I was like, ooh, let me go shopping. And I saw that um, Lamika had some new stickers out, so I went over there to grab them, but I don't even remember what I got. So let's see. Cute little packaging, cute little bag. Lamika always does things cute. Oh, okay. So I got um, the cute little Beyonce sticker. Let me zoom in for y'all. Okay. Okay, it's coming back to me now. <laughs> okay, I got the cute little Beyonce sticker called Queen B or Bay. What do y'all call her? Queen Bay or Queen B? Which is it? I don't know. But this is cute. I think this is from the um, Black is King video, which was so good. I thought it was so good. I've heard, you know, some negative reviews about it, but I thought it was really well done. It's, it's very creative. And I think that she is a creative... I think she's a creative genius. I really think that she's earned that. And I would not give that to a lot of people. I gave that to Michael Jackson. I gave that to Prince. Um, but I think that she is a modern day creative genius. I think she is. And, ha and that little um, movie that she did, Black is King, was really, really good. If you haven't seen it, check it out. All right, so that's Queen B, Bay, whatever y'all call her. <laughs> and then my girl, Mary J. Blige. Yes, honey. It doesn't look a whole lot like her, but I get the I get the illusion that they were going for. That's definitely her style. But the face doesn't really look like Mary J. But it's super cute though. So you'll be seeing that coming up in the my fall spreads. Hey, Mary J. And then we have um, Miss Universe. This has been out for a while, but I'm just late getting it. I think she's so gorgeous with her short hair and her chocolate skin. She is so beautiful. Miss Universe. I think it's time for them to choose new um, people, isn't it? It's about that time. And then this is Miss Mrs. America. She is gorgeous. Come on now. Gorgeous. Ooh, come on, girl. And then we have um, Becoming, which is Michelle Obama. This is, now this looks like her. This is gorgeous. Gorgeous. I might put this on election week. I might save it for election week. Super cute because she's like, go vote, sis. Go vote. <laughs> and we have early voting in our, in our city. And I don't know what the deal is with the vote by mail. Why do we need to do that when we can do early voting? When there won't be very many people out. I mean... I know some people have serious health conditions and they cannot be out in public. I think those people should vote by mail. If you cannot be out in public because of your health condition, then I think you should vote by mail. I think everybody else, just regular, regular people, should put your mask on, put your gloves on, take your uh, microband and your Lysol and your hand sanitizer and go vote early when the lines will not be that long. I mean, we go to, we go to Target and we go to Walmart. And we go to Staples and we're in, I mean, we're in there 20, 30, sometimes an hour, 20 minutes, 30 minutes, sometimes an hour. Why can't you go to the voting polls and spend, what, 15, 20 minutes at the, at the polls and vote? I don't get the whole thing with the mailing, mail, mail voting, voting by mail. I don't understand what the big deal is to do it or not. If you can't go out, then yeah, vote by mail. But if you can go out and you've been going to Walmart and other places, why would you not just go vote early? I think early, early voting, I think early voting starts in my city on October 15th, and I think it runs through the 31st. So everybody in my household is going to put on their mask and go vote early. Okay, that's, that's enough of my PSA. But this is the Obamas, first family, so cute. Oh my word, they are so gorgeous. I can't take them. They're so cute. But this will be going in my planner too. Super cute. Okay, so that's what I got from um, Capital Chic. I had totally forgotten about this order. But yeah, that's what I got from her. Where is my little envelope that it came in? Oh, here it is. Super, super cute. I need to put it somewhere where I won't forget that I have it. 
because these little individual sheets of stickers, sometimes I, sometimes I forget that I have them. So I got to put them maybe in my cute little sticker book so I won't forget. All right, and then last but not least, y'all. This video actually wasn't that long. We're doing good. We're right around 30 minutes right now. Okay, this right here is the game changer. So I don't know what I was looking for. I think I was scrolling through Instagram and I saw these cute sticker sheets that had not just girls on them, but it had cute little clip art on the page as well, like a whole little deco sheet. And I was like, who in the world is doing these cute little sticker sheets? So come to find out, it's a shop that's new to me called Tawana Simone. <laughs> and first of all, I think that name is just so cute. I don't know if that's her name or if that is her name and her daughter's name or her name and her sister's name. I don't know if this is just a made up name. I don't know. But it sounds like you should just sprinkle some black girl magic dust over it when you say it. <laughs> like Tawana Simone. <laughs> Can't, I can't make a little Tinkerbell noise, but it sounds like you should have, like, when you say Tawana Sh Simone, like, when you say Tawana Simone, just some Tinkerbell noises should come behind that, <laughs> and fairy dust should fall everywhere, but it's so cute. I love the name of her shop. So, anyway, I was looking for some stickers to go in my, um, my Notique planner, and these are perfect y'all let me tell you something now if you already know about Tawana Simone kudos to you why you didn't tell me why you why you holding out <laughs> because these stickers are amazing now I will tell you one thing that I was surprised by I just and it was my fault I didn't read the fine print these stickers are glossy and I'm not typically a fan of glossy stickers ever I'm gonna make an exception for Tawana Simone shop because these stickers are the business okay they are the business the bomb they lit they everything they here for it they all of that okay all right so the first one in each of the sheets has a little name so this first one is called sunflower obviously because she is just <laughs> popping in her yellow, okay, her yellow pants, her sunflower planner, her beautiful twist out hair. Honey, <laughs> okay, and you get so much on this sticker sheet. Like this is the only thing you need with some washi and some day covers. And your planner is set. If you have a small planner like an A, like my A5 Notique, that's what I bought these for. I'm set for the next few months. <laughs> Because this this is all you need this one sheet and some day covers and some washi and girl you good You good to go. Okay, so this one's called Simone. I mean called sunflower <laughs> And uh, it says queenin and look at this cute little um, Candy bar that says melanin on it <laughs> And then it says chocolate and honey girl, you know, that's cute <laughs> That is so cute. And then she's got got that black girl magic, brown sugar, honey, cocoa, and gold, flexing my melanin, laundry day with the cute little sunflower bikinis. Oh, so cute. Then she's doing her own manicure, which you know I'd love me a good self-manicure, a little home manicure, honey. And then your um, cell phone, naturally dope in two different colors, the pink and the yellow, the hearts, and this cute little girl with her beautiful hair and her melanin popping. <sighs> I love it. Okay, that's sheet number one. And then we have, next up is Tessa. So come through Tessa, and Tessa is uh, having a wild weekend. <laughs> She's got her cell phone that says just queening. She's got get glam, weekend getaway. I'm coming for everything they said I couldn't have, okay? She's got pampered and paid, just cleaning, wing it, life, your eyeliner, and everything. She's got her, her money, her little money envelope. And the thing I love about these sheets is you get three iterations of the girls on each sheet. You get a full body one. You get a like a half or three-quarter length body in a box. And then you got, and then you get a, um, a, kiss cut version of her also in the kind of three quarter like the little bust size of each girl that is and you get all the deco 
that's a lot and these sheets were not expensive y'all they were very very reasonably priced on Etsy I will link her shop down below okay but that's Tessa and then we have um, Jay so cute and hers says brains beauty and booty and she's got mood boss up mentally physically and financially she's got her cell phone with her coffin cut nails She's got the three um, versions of the girl, Chase the Dream, Frye, the peace sign. You know, I love a good peace sign. Then you've got Gold Digger, G-O-A-L Digger, and Focused and Fabulous, Important Reminder. She's got her little marble notebook. And then three little um, reminder icons like Happy Mail and TV. And then some more books and some little teardrops. The little um, teardrop reminder stickers. So cute and her name is Jay and then we have Dominique and she just looks like a Dominique doesn't she <laughs> so cute so on this one she's got the cute outfit and that's the thing too all of these outfits I would totally wear like if I was skinny enough not right now I would definitely wear these and these thigh high boots come on for the fall and the winter time yes ma'am then you get the three versions of the girl then you get um then you've got um Diva is a female version of a hustler. Then you've got she got mad hustle and a dope soul. You got cash, her coffee cup, her earbuds, her laptop with gold digger, um, coffee and gangster music. Now I don't really like gangster music, but I like the coffee. Then we've got um, Diva is a female version of a hustler. Hello gorgeous. Um, you got her her planner and her pen and her phone and her nail polish. Just just cute. All the things you need for a cute little A5 spread or a Hobonichi or a B6, you name it. A small planner, this is perfect. And then next is Lauren. Super cute. She's got on her black and white. Her shirt says Femme. We've got Busy B. You've got her planner and her phone. Um, Boss Babe, Goals, Laundry Day. Um, her phone again and got the oh look at that studded black Starbucks cup come on now you know that's cute and then you've got um don't let the pretty face fool you I roll like a boss a pen um, her iPad hustle for the pretty things just cute and the I know why Tawana Simone chooses the glossy paper because the glossy paper makes these stickers truly truly pop the color on here is just I mean it's 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 amazing it's vibrant it's rich the colors are perfection so I get why they use glossy so like I said I'm gonna make an exception I don't normally choose glossy stickers but these right here these right here are worth it okay then we've got this one called Mel I don't know if it's short for Melanie or Melissa or what but it's a cute little sticker sheet we've got three versions of the girl you've got nails phone money um, this is kind of like a like a self-care type of um, sticker sheet too because it's got a little bathtub weekend OMG definitely not today too busy to care happy hour nail polish laundry day all the cute little self-care things and that's Mel and I'm telling y'all I went ham over there <laughs> I got two more y'all the next one is Natalia She's perfect for the fall, right? She's got on her cute little sweater dress, her purple thigh-high boots. Ooh, they're like suede thigh-highs. And then the teal bag. You know she put that outfit together. Cute. Then the glittery Starbucks cup. Three versions of the girl. Butterflies and pumpkins. That is so cute. Then it says live life with a little spice. You've got the nails, the bag, pretty girl vibe, and the pumpkins and the um, butterflies. And the color on here is just gorgeous. And that is Natalia. And then the one that I really went over there for, this is what I was looking for. This one, which says Queenin. And this one is called Renee. And Renee is doing her thing, okay? I love this entire outfit. I would wear this entire outfit, like right now. Well, not right now because it's hot outside, but in the fall, I would wear this entire thing. It's like a beautiful wine color. And then she's got her phone. Um, she's got two money rolls, a, um, what is that coffee called? It's like the, 
coffee with the cream on the top. I forget the name of it. Y'all tell me in the comments from Starbucks. You know which one I'm talking about. <laughs> the one that was real popular like two years ago. But everybody still drinks it, but it used to be really popular about two years ago. Um, you live, you learn, you upgrade. Hmm? You hear that? You live, you learn, you upgrade. Okay? That's what uh, Renee says we should do. Okay? And then you got your planner, pampered and paid, booked and busy, nap queen, treating myself with her little credit card, uh, boss lady mode activity with her laptop, and then three versions of the girl, and just gore, just color, and gorgeous kiss cut stickers, y'all. Gorgeous. So, if you have not heard... Of Tawana Simone. I wish I had a little sound effect to put a little <laughs> fairy sparkle behind it. But if you have not heard of her, go check her out on Etsy. I will link her shop down below. The prices are reasonable and these stickers are gorgeous. Y'all know if I find a shop that's doing the thing, I love to shop them out because good things should be shared good things should be shared okay so that's it y'all we did good 41 minutes is what i got right now and i know i'm going to edit it down so it'll be a little bit shorter than that but not bad at all so i hope that you enjoyed this little haul if you did do not forget to give me a big thumbs up let me know what was your favorite was it the um tawana simone stickers but I'm going to tell you the truth. Those were my favorite of this entire haul. Tawana Simone was my favorite. And then uh, and then the Aura Estelle planner. Yes, ma'am. Those are my favorites from this entire haul. But I'm excited to get into a new planner. I have another shop that I'm going to, that's new to me, that I'm waiting on some items from. I ordered them specifically to plan in the Aura Estelle because I'm going to do a different style of planning in that planner. I'm going to do some um, what I consider kind of traditional planning in, um, in the Aura Estelle. Okay? So, but let me know what you liked from this haul. Ooh, a little sticker book. Yes in the comments and if you have an Aura Estelle, if you've ever used one, if you're thinking about getting one, if you tried to get one in the restock and you got kicked out like I did, let me know girl because it's like fighting bears out here. Let me zoom out. That's why I can't get everything in here. There we go. Alright, so let me know what was your favorite and I look forward to bringing you all of this planner goodness in the weeks to come i'm so happy with this color of this sugar coral i was nervous about it y'all but i absolutely love it and i'm looking forward to planning in the future with all of these goodies so thank you for sticking around with me for this haul i hope you enjoyed it give me a big thumbs up if you did let me know if you're planning on getting any of these items or if you have these items if you already knew about tawana simone and you didn't tell me let me know because i'm gonna be side eyeing you <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna be side eyeing you but okay let me know if you knew about Tawana Simone and you were just holding out and you didn't tell me okay let me know if you um like the Tawana Simone uh stickers too and if you prefer glossy or matte stickers I, I have a lot of questions I have a lot of questions In inquiring minds want to know okay so let me know in the comment section I hope that you have a great week planner babes if you're not already subscribed hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss out on the fun and I hope that you have a great week. I hope it's full of love, joy, planning, and peace. I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.